hi guys welcome to family create hope you're all doing well in this video we'll show you how to sideload apps on the huawei watch 4 pro this is a much requested video so apologies it took me so long to upload so to do this process of enabling the huawei watch 4 to sideload apps meaning you can upload any apks from google play store uh, those kind of apps that you can we use on android phones on the watch because the Huawei app gallery is rubbish. I'm going to go through some steps here that showing you what you need to do in order to enable this. I don't know if it's going to work on this watch, but I'm going to try. I've done this on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and it worked. Obviously some apps don't work great, but considering this watch has a far larger screen than the Samsung's um, watch does. I don't know, there's, may there's hope. I'm thinking maybe some apps may display better here than they do on the watch 5 pro and the other watches with, with the smallest screen this is one of the biggest screens that there is on a watch i think it's 1.5 inch so that's a huge screen now significantly bigger so let's see but for that to happen you need to download a couple of apps first very important show them close up this app here and this app here so one is the i think PUBG app and then the other one is remote adb shell you can get them both from the Play Store. So those are the two apps you have to have in order for this to work. Download those first. At least just have them. And then the, I think the rest of the step for now, let's do on the watch. First, you have to make sure on the watch is you have the developer option enabled. And you do this by going into settings. From the settings, you go into about. And then I think you go into these are the options here. You have to go to one of those and click on. So I'm gonna just, it's not device name, it's not model. I'm gonna go in there. Software version, and I'm just gonna tap the, see here, it's saying nearly there. Okay, so the develop option has been, so you just tap a few times on that, and then that enables the developer option. So now go back then. Now you see the developer option has popped up. So if you go into developer option, there's a couple of things you have to do here. You have to, you have to enable, the HTC debugging and then you have to also enable the debugging over Wi-Fi currently it says unavailable because Wi-Fi isn't set up on the watch so for this process to work you have to make sure the watch and the phone are both on the same Wi-Fi network otherwise it won't work and if you haven't got Wi-Fi um, you probably could tether from your phone but you just have to make sure that they're connected to the same network, otherwise it's not going to work. So what I have to do in my case, I'm going to have to go and enable my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi is either off. Well, my Wi-Fi is always on, but I have... Let me just see what's happening. So if I go into Wi-Fi... And then... I just have to make sure, make sure Wi-Fi is connected. So I'm going to try this one. Connect. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is connected. I'm going to double check that the phone is connected to the same network. It isn't at present, so I have to set it to that. Okay, so I'm now on both the same network. Now if I go back, I think you should show something different now. Now if I go back to develop options, um, so it's saying unavailable, so I have to make sure. Probably will turn the Wi-Fi off and on again, just to make sure. I think the Wi-Fi signal here is very poor, so it's, even though it's connected, it's not really doing very well. Um, I'm going to try another one and see. So one other thing to really ensure is you have to have, I think, at least decent amount of battery before you start this procedure. So I've currently got 52. Um, so yeah, just make sure there's enough battery there. You don't want the watch dying before. This process is complete and during that process you want to make sure the screen your watch screen doesn't go to sleep because if it does you lose the connection because it's going to be connecting to the phone on the same wi-fi network so make sure you you set your screen on to maybe 10 or 20 minutes or something like that i'm connected on to 
same network um, so yep I'm connected and I think so you either HTC debugging and then you enable the Wi-Fi debugging so you have to make sure that Wi-Fi code is the same as the one you have on your phone as well so now what we'll do is we have to make sure we connect the one of the apps I showed you before so this this one so you're going to connect that to the same network that you have your your watch and the phone so i'm just going to enter whatever is showing on my on my watch so it's usually going to be this yep connected excellent so now this is the important bit you have to enter this command what that does is i think it's designed to disable the app verification so so i think it says app verification pm disable user user um, com dot android package installer so it needs to disable that for this to work and then you have to put that code in so let's put that code in and see where we go with it and it's all caps this first line g and then oops sorry one and then space dollar sign pm d i s a b l e disable dash u s e r com dot i'm not sure if it needs to be on one li line or not that's why i'm slightly not unsure Android dot package installer so P A C K G E installer I N S T just have to make sure that it is spelled the way the code is spelled so sometimes it may not be the same as the normal spelling then package again capital P this time com dot android dot Package installer again, so P C K A G E E R space new. Hope this works. S T A T E new state. Disabled dash user, and then you put in H W G L L. forward slash space dollar and press enter oh it says inaccessible not found so it didn't work so next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this in the back I'm going to open this app up and I'm going to have to make sure the device is connected. It says no device connected. So tap here to connect it and I have to put in the same. I should have copied it really. Connect. 
that thing at the bottom is connected even though it's showing it's, the channel is still connect and you can see here it's connected as well so I think I can even though it's, so it's failed to connect but it's connected so my device is connected which is great news I hope so then I'm gonna go here So I go here now, plus, I'm going to select an APK. I'm going to select an APK, I'm going to see if it allows installation. So I go into my files, download, I downloaded some APK the other day. I tried this Google one on, on Android. In my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro only works, so let's try this one here. Done. It says installing APK, I just hope it is. Once it's, if it does install, it should show up at the bottom here. I find it took ages to install on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. So it says package installed. Ah, and you can see it's here now on the watch. So the moment of truth. Let's put this one side. Let's open and see what happens. Hope it works. Hope it works. Loading so far, so good. Got it. Yep, got it. Just calendar one run that Google Play service. I don't know. So I was a bit ambitious trying to run a, have a Google calendar running, but this was a Google's particular app, so I may try a different one that is not Google's and see what happens. So let's see. This one looks like. And then I will also show how you can uninstall them. So there will be apps you try and install and then they don't work. So obviously you have to get rid of them. But I will do this after. I want to go and see if I can put, try a different APK now. Curve. So Curve is the one I definitely want to try. I want to try this particular one. Well, I've got WhatsApp here. I may try WhatsApp. There's a different calendar app I have. Maybe I'm going to try... Let's try this one. It's a small one. So, so at least I'm able to get apps into the watch. But to make them work, I don't remember this one working on the Watch 5 installed. And it's. Oh, it's frozen for some reason. Okay, it's here. Calendar. Please work. Nothing. You have to be prepared for disappointment. Some of the apps aren't gonna work. So it looks like this one, I mean this one didn't work on the Watch 5 as I said. So not surprised. Although the calendar one did work really well on the Watch 5. It's a shame. Um, let's see if I can uninstall it from here. No. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna attempt the next one now. Hope something's gonna work. Um, let's try this one, one of my most needy apps to do. It's a big, it's a bit big, 50, 55 megabyte plus. So. By the way, the YouTube app did work quite well as well on my Watch 5 Pro, the, the official, the real YouTube app. But it wasn't really suitable for the tiny screen. Package installed. Okay, it's showing here, but is it going to work? Okay, some progress. If I can get this to work, I'll be very happy. Oh, actually, oh no, it's crashed. Load again. I mean, it's, it's okay here, but I think in the screen where I'm supposed to enter a, a entry, it just crashes. Don't forget, these are actual phone APKs. So you're trying to view phone APKs on a tiny screen of a watch. Let's see if something's loading. 
No, it's not going to work. I'll try and restart the watch later and see if it makes any difference. I doubt it. Okay, so there's another one that didn't work. On to the next one. This time I'm going to try... What's up? Oh, curve is quite big. I do want to try curve. Actually, I'm going to install a curve now because that's one of the more important apps for me. So it's possible to get up in there. But so far I've had three and none of them have worked. They crash. But the first one doesn't crash. It just says it's not supported by the watch because it doesn't have Google services. Second one didn't work. Third one, to do list. Just crashes when in the screen where you can add a task. Now I'm trying the curve. Now I tried the curve on the watch 5 Pro just to see if it if it installed it did. Um, and it also, I think it crashed but I have to try it here. If I can get this to work here and if I can make NFC payments at least got the eSIM sorted. I have to find a way around this calendar business. Showing curve already. Um, on, the, on, the, on the thing it shows installing. So I'll wait. It is a big app so it does take time to install. That's a big one. Everyone wants NFC payments. Huawei watch doesn't support NFC payments. Not just this watch, the watch 3 Pro and others. Such a brilliant watch, great watch and a basic essential service that you can't use. Kind of makes it pointless. My last hope this one really. If curve doesn't work then this watch has to go back. So I'm just going through the steps of it's just installing but it seems it's showing up on the when I'm trying. See what happens. So I have to put my mobile number in, let me do that. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna continue. Password. So I have to verify something now. This is the problem. They send me a code. It's very difficult to verify because I can't go to see what the... I do enter this code. Passcode. Difficult to enter when you can't see the screen. This is when I think you need to change the the DPI so you can view the whole screen. I may have to do that. You can't pinch and zoom either. I can't get the keyboard up to type. So I may have to go to the other app. The ADB shell. And I may have to put in a coding here which sort of makes your v screen more s so W I don't know if it's gonna work WM density say I don't know 300 or say 280 Okay, now I've got the full keyboard. Just need to bring that up again. Hopefully, I can enter my passcode now.
crushed whatsapp now whatsapp worked um to be honest uh, but i didn't really set it up because i didn't want to mess up with um or you know losing the the whatsapp account i have on my phone but whatsapp works um it, you know it, it didn't crash um so i didn't really proceed much further because I don't, i've already got whatsapp um on my other wearers watches spotify again it works i'll show you spotify um, it works fine. Didn't Spotify is one of the few apps that didn't crash. And also, like um, you know, it shows you album um, art as well. Basically, it syncs everything um, for, because it's based on your account. And I was able to sign into my account, so anything I had on my on my account saved. It show, showed up here. I can play it, and it will play on the watch through the speaker. And I can control um, using the the, the home here. To-do list, it kind of works, um, but it's very difficult to add any stuff, any any tasks onto it because, um, so for example, I tested, I can try and calendar, and I can add a calendar item, I can add a task, and I do get a notification, but they don't sync, so uh, it, it won't sync with your phone calendar, or if you touch, if you add something on your phone calendar, it won't sync, so it's kind of really pointless. And to be honest, the other thing I want to say as well, now. Some people really um, like the idea of lo side loading apps onto their watch. From what my experience here, and this is the first time I experienced this, I don't see any point of downloading any of those actual smartphone apps onto the watch because they don't display properly. Just a quick disclaimer, you're doing this at your own risk as unauthorized APKs could be harmful for your device. Do bear in mind that these APKs are not designed to be used with smartwatches. So that's all for today. If you have already sideloaded apps such as calendar and NFC payment options, please do share your knowledge in the comment section for everyone's benefit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please do give it a like and a subscription would be very much appreciated. Until next time, do take care. Bye bye.